Hello, welcome to Python programming introduction course. In our previous tutorial, we learned that loops can be very useful. Now let's look at some example of for loops. The syntax of a for loop always starts with the keyword for. Then we specify a variable name. In this case, I can say for i in range 10, the body of the for loop, I'm going to type the function call to the print function. And I want it to print out the value of the variable i. The range function will provide a sequence of numbers. In this case, it's going to print, provide a sequence of 10 numbers. Let's run the function and see what happens. It prints out 0 to 9. So the range function will provide a sequence of number from 0 to 9. That's 10 numbers. We can use the help function to check the description of the range function. It's a very long description. At this point, we only care about the beginning of the description. There are multiple ways to call the range function. We can call the range function with a stop value, which will only specify how many objects in the range sequence. Or we can provide a start value, the stop value, and optionally the step, meaning the number we use to increase. Now let's look at another example. This is another for loop for i in range. This time I'm going to specify the starting value, and I don't want it to print out from 0. I want it to start from 1, so I can specify 1, 10. Inside the for loop, I'm going to print out the value of variable i. Let's run the for loop. It will print out the number 1 to 9 accordingly. Similarly, I can specify the step so if I don't specify the third argument, which is the step, the step will be the default value, which is 1. I can specify a different number for step. For example, for i in range 1, 10, and I'm going to specify the step as 2, and print the value i. This time, it will only print the first five odd numbers. The name of the variable is immaterial. I can name it anyway. For example, I can say for banana in range 10, print the variable name, which is banana. And it will just do the same thing. All right, now we have a better understanding of the for loop and the range function. We can use it combined with turtle to draw some interesting shape. Now let's open a new file and save it as shapes.py. First, let me import turtle. Then I'm going to use the for loop inside the for loop I'm going to ask it to move forward 50 pixels then turn left 90 degree and this will loop for four times let's run the module and see what happens It draws a square. That's wonderful. Now let's some, make some further change to the code. 
I can ask it to draw a triangle. This time, I want to draw an equilateral triangle. So I use another for loop. Make sure your for loops are well indented. And this time I can say for A in range 3, because triangle has three sides, it's equilateral. I'm going to specify forward 100 pixels. That's the size of each side. And then make a left turn. 120 degrees. Now let me run the module. First it draws a square, then an equilateral triangle. I can put the code in different functions. I can define a function called square and put this part of code to draw a square inside this function. Make sure all the code are nicely indented. Then I can create another function and make sure the keyword depth is aligned at the left edge of your file. And I can call it triangle. Make change to the indentation. If you use tabs, consistently use tabs. If you use space, consistently use space. Don't mix them together. Python is very picky. All right, now let me run the module. As you can see, nothing happens. This is because Python waits for you to call your functions. If I call my function square, don't forget the parenthesis, press and it draws a square. I can call the function triangle. Press enter. It will draw a triangle. Now let me make further change to my code. Inside my file, I can define another function called draw. And I can make function call to square. After the draw the square, I want to leave some space and start drawing the triangle. So I'm going to lift my pen up, go forward 100 pixels, and place my pen down so I can start drawing. Now I'm going to call triangle function. Okay, let me run the module. Now I'm going to call the function draw. And it will draw a square and a triangle. Thanks for watching.